this is, you know, his home area, Toronto, but I never, it's cliche, but I never say never. I mean, it could be the final match, but then again, I think that Edge has got that uh, bug to keep going on, and I, I, I don't see it as a final match. They might bill it like that, and maybe something happens in that match, and it'll be the final match before the next final match. I don't know. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Wrestling Time Machine by Sports <laughs> Cheetah. I'm Mac Davis, along with WWE Hall of Famer, Teddy Long. I can't, I can't, even, I can't even say hello to y'all because I tell you, people, if y'all would just know what Mac Davis does before we come on the air. Yeah. I know. I it's haven't un- done that in a while. I was good for it's a while. unbelievable. Bill Abner and I, we are just... We don't know what to really do here. <laughs> we'll figure it out, Teddy. <laughs> and as Teddy just mentioned, our other co-host each and every week is legendary pro wrestling journalist, Mr. Bill Apter. Hey, well, Bill. It's so great to be back here. And I heard all the comments about what you guys thought I was doing. No, um, no, 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 no. We didn't thought that. We knew exactly what you were doing. I want to congratulate you on being such a... Tremendous host for the twerking contest at the Magic City Strip Club in Atlanta, Georgia. Those guys said you did a hell of a job. Well, Teddy, right. Teddy. Oh, wait, wait. No, wait, Bill. Teddy, I got video proof of that. Oh, okay. well, wait a minute. Wait video a minute. proof. Do you know yeah. why? Because I, the bowl club was closed. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my so God. yeah, video proof. We knew what uh, you were doing, so we had to get some money. And by the way, yeah. I am available for private parties, bar mitzvahs, oh. weddings, and everything. There. Oh, now, now you're promoting yourself. Oh wow! <laughs> Always, you know that, Teddy. <laughs> Guys, I want to start off with uh, some news from well, Dave wait, Meltzer. Wait, I, something yes. to talk about here, because Teddy does this unconsciously and a lot of the wrestlers back from the dusty days put an n in my name they'll call me apner instead of after dusty Rhodes he's always my buddy willie apner here and teddy you and about a hundred other people do that so unconsciously but it's fun to me it's okay i i got real after yeah oh i thought earlier you said apner no after how about cleaning your ears out <laughs> I can't. I came out of the Teddy. I came out of the cake. I got cake in the ears. That's some stuff called peroxide. You can get. <laughs> oh God! I was going to say something. I just totally lost it now. Um, <laughs> Dave, Dave Meltzer, did we answer all the questions we were asking, Bill? I'm sorry. What? We got to the no, point, no, right? We, love, we have fun on this show, man. Oh God, we love yes. Each other. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I'm glad you said something, Teddy. Last week, when you were gone, Bill, I, I referred to uh, Ginger Mahal. Uh, Ginger Mahal. Yeah. Not well, Ginger. D- that's, d- that's t- t- Teddy kept calling Ginger Ginger the entire time. I didn't catch that while we were talking, but somebody had made a comment that said they were just busting out laughing because all they could think of was a red head, long red hair, gin- Ginger Mahal walking out to the ring called Ginger Mahal. Yeah, so. Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Well, that, that, that name is kind of hard to pronounce, so I was close enough. <laughs> okay, Dave Meltzer is reporting that Edge's match with Sheamus is likely to be his final match, as it's going to be in Toronto. Any thoughts, you guys? Uh, Bill, you, well, do you that's believe a, that's that? That's a possibility. That is a possibility, um, and I think it would be a great final match. But you know what? This is, you know, his home area, Toronto, but I never, it's cliche, but I never say never. I mean, it could be the final match, but then again, I think that Edge has got that uh, bug to keep going on, and I I don't see it as a final match. They might bill it like that, and maybe something happens in that match, and it'll be the final match before the next final match. I don't know. Teddy, don't you think that WWE would make a bigger deal out of it if it was his final match? No, I don't, because no. WWE is not owned by WWE anymore. Okay, you guys got to remember that. A lot of changes mm-hmm. are going to be happening there. And uh, from some comments and stuff that I read, you know, you can kind of see. I don't really believe everything I read, but some of it I pay attention to. 
So I think uh, that uh, this is what Edge wants to do. I mean, nothing against Sheamus. I like him. He's a nice guy. But yeah. I think Edge would, I would have rather saw him win out with with a, a, another opponent than Sheamus. I'd have liked to have seen him with somebody else. Who, who would uh, you Maybe pick? with one of the guys that they're trying to uh, do something with. Maybe Edge and L.A. Knight. You know what I mean? I'd have liked to see yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. he, he, he needs to give that rub to a, to the, one of the young guys. I mean, that's right. got to happen because otherwise he's he's wasted his talent coming back. I mean, first of all, that's just what you do. Uh, and But secondly, he has the ability to really help somebody. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, the, the guy that they're that they're using now, and they're, they're going to put some time in, then go out and leave that guy strong. You know, like I said, it'd be a big rub for L.A. Knight. Ted, Teddy, do you feel that L.A. Knight – is in, if, that he's doing an imitation of The Rock, like Kevin Nash uh, had said? No, I don't think that way to me. I think LA Knight is just being himself. There may be some stuff that he's maybe in his promos or something that may, you know, kind of remind you of The Rock, but I just don't see him doing no, I don't see him raising his eyebrow. <laughs> you know, I don't see him getting up in the corner, you know, and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So wow. I think L.A. Knight is just being his own self. And maybe some of the stuff he does reminds you of The Rock. There are a lot of guys that do promos that kind of remind you of other guys that were back, you know, in the business and stuff. So I don't think he's imitating The Rock at all. The, the L.A. eyebrow. Wow. What would that look like? <laughs> that, oh, now, wow. now we're trying to. <laughs> the, oh, you got to call yeah, the L.A. brow. Oh, I like that. I like that. I did an interview a few days ago with uh, Ricky Steamboat about his appearance in uh, AEW. He says he doesn't even get that thrill to, you know, be in there much anymore. You know, he'll do a favor once in a while for stuff. But he says, you know, the traveling and everything else that's going on, it's a totally different business at this point. And it's a lot of it that he doesn't recognize anymore. And, and that's how I feel, too, man. You know, if they call me for something, I can go back and do them a favor. That's fine. But I don't want no full time. I don't. I, I'm not setting that anymore. And I want to say this since we're talking. I want to congratulate Adam Pierce. You know, I see now. I watched a little of it last night, and he's getting a lot. Of, you know, more airtime than I've seen. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch it all the time. But just to see Adam, the authority figure, he should be out there more. You know, doing stuff. So I saw a little bit, a lot, quite a bit of him uh, on Raw, and I, I want to congratulate him. I think he's doing a good job. He's a great technical wrestler too i used to yes, see him on the yes. independence all yep. the time yeah yeah it was funny because when he first came into wwe <clears throat> it, it surprised me because i at first i wasn't sure if that's who that was yeah, uh and then it was like wow you know this 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 cat's doing a good job yeah. uh let me ask you something bill because this has come up in the news and this is something i i'm a little confused on oscar uh has taken some shots at the stardom promotion in japan uh, and saying, quote, the former editor-in-chief of Pro Wrestling Weekly has made his point on several occasions. That is, stardom is an organization that was created to defeat me. I, I, I read some of that and all that, and it's very confusing to me um, that she would do this because, you know, it, it seems like something uh, political that somebody probably took a shot at Asuka and she's probably firing back. I don't have all the details at this point, but it is something we should uh, keep an eye on and talk about uh, on a future time machine. Yeah, it's, it's like I say, I, that came up in the uh, the questions for today, and it was just something I didn't know enough about. And I, I'm sure, uh, Teddy, you 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 have inside scoop on that no. on Oscar. No, no, I don't. No. By the way, uh, the the deal they do with Oscar now and that face paint, where it's kind of got that metallic and uh the different yeah. colors yeah. I, I like that that's Me a too. great that, that's a great look for her Me and it's too. so unique it almost looks like one of the masks that she would come out you know just holding it in front of her face uh with the ceramic you know and shiny look well and that's why they do it her face yeah that's why they do it they save eight dollars and 72 cents on masks <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you, oh yeah you gotta you can market the hell out of those things though and she can always change color on those masks now on her own yeah. so but that's she's an incredible personality. She's an excellent worker in the ring, of course. But she brings that ferocity and that unus very unusual um, personality there. And you don't have to understand what she's saying to enjoy what she's doing. 